We're so excited to be here with our architect, John Baskfield. He designed our project and we are so grateful for him. Here is John. Hello, everybody. Um, John, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about the Alpenglow project. Um, what are the things that make you most excited about this opportunity? Well, you know, I think really from the, from early on, it was the it was the people that that brought the project to us, and you know, we were part of of several firms that were interviewed for the project, and and we worked really hard to get the project, um, mostly because of the people involved and the and their ideas for what they wanted. They wanted to create something that was um, a real community within a community. They wanted to be sustainable and energy efficient. They wanted to uh, reuse wa roof water for their landscaping. They knew they wanted to have lots of plants. They, um, all of the folks in the initial group uh, have a long history of, um, living and working in that uh, in that way. And so I had a pretty high level of confidence that they would um, go ahead and execute on their um, on their really high ideals for the project. And when you mentioned sustainability, what were your influences in designing this project with sustainability in mind? Well, you know, I, I have been really interested in energy efficiency and um, healthy buildings and global sustainability thinking um, in terms of the making of buildings and, and, and other built works for a long time. Um, I also worked for um, some pretty accomplished arch architects, Ed Chamberlain, uh, Chamberlain Architects at a Grand Junction, a lot of work um, for uh, National Parks and Division of Wildlife, all of the, the projects were highly energy efficient and sustainable um, and learned a lot from them. So really the, but still I guess the, the main influencer toward uh, energy efficiency and sustainability have been the owner, have been the owner group that uh, brought the project to us. And what would you uh, say are the main aspects of our sustainability in the building? Well, the buildings are, you know, they're designed to be, uh, to be energy efficient um, and to use healthy materials for the occupants and for um, the places on the, um, on the globe where they're sourced from. But really what that translates to simply is a really um, efficient um, exterior wall and efficient mechanical systems for heating. We don't have much of a cooling load in our environment here. Uh, we sometimes have uh, just a few hot days in the summer. For the most part, our energy input is toward heating. And so these buildings have um, highly insulated shells. Uh, we're intending to use um, solar photovoltaic to offset uh, some of the carbon use and to feed back into the grid so that, you know, owners that are investing in solar up front uh, will see returns uh, because uh, they are selling power back to the grid at times when they're not using that. And um, after that payback period, uh, which hasn't been determined precisely yet, but typically is less than 10 years, then um, they, for the most part, are um, using power um, just from the um, input of the sun. Mm -hmm. And um, for Alpenglow as a co-housing project, how does the design that you, that you made make it, would you say, community friendly? In what way is it that? Yeah, that's it's really the main gist of the project and of the site plan is to to create a, a, a space in which we can have both privacy and we can encourage interaction among neighbors. And so what we did was we placed the buildings close enough together 
that that voice and visual interaction are really easily and natural to accomplish. Uh, we brought the main pathways past each of the houses. So folks will be walking from their parking area, typically just a, a couple hundred feet, um, past other residences often to their um, to their own home or to the common house. And this close proximity uh, and the orientation of the paths uh, really encourages um, community interaction, as well as the, the, the common house, which is uh, has a lot of programmatic elements in it, for example, the um, where we get our mail, and for some folks where we um, have uh, community dinners, and, and we're anticipating that most people that are, most or all, will participate in at least some of the functions at the common house and that the common house is part of their uh, of of each person person's daily regimen and so there's really intentional um, interaction with neighbors uh, as a part of the design however you know each of the units also has uh, accepting the townhome units private um, outdoor space the, out, the townhome units have, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the apartment units have private outdoor space on the lower level. It is quite visible. For those that are in the, in the, um, the duplex units, they all have a back porch, which is really designed as the place to go sit when you'd like to be private and quiet. Um, and then if you want to be social, stand at your kitchen window, which is going to be well positioned <laughs> for the path, or sit on your front porch. And those are the um, those are the public and and social um, parts of each unit. Wonderful. Um, now, what do you think the influence will be of this building onto Uray County, onto the people of the area? How do you think it will um, affect those that are living in the area? Well, you know, it really is. It gets back to a community within a community. Um, Alpenglow Co-Housing is a very small, tight-knit community within the larger uh, small town of, of Ridgeway, Colorado. And Ridgeway, Colorado is a, uh, a community within the larger, uh, wide-open, um, rural Uray County. So what I th really think is that Alpenglow uh, is situated in a town that has lots and lots of people who are progressive thinkers, who, who think about uh, global issues and act through community. I think Alpenglow uh, is forming up to be really a, a hot spot of, of that, where um, the, all, of, all of the people that live in Alpenglow, I expect, will be interested in the community aspect of Alpenglow. And, uh, and therefore, uh, we're expecting a really tight-knit um, community that over, you know, just even the course of, of, of months will develop into pretty strong neighbor support relationships. And so I think that within Ridgeway and Uray County that the Alpenglow community will, and it already has become uh, known as a a focus for um, community events, for community thinking, for um, and, and really for sustainability and the kind of design and global thinking um, aspects that we've used in shaping the project so far. This is wonderful, John. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us. And we're so looking forward to the beginning of our building uh, to start soon and we'll get to see your project in reality pretty soon here. So thank you so much and we'll see you on the on the project. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye, John. Thank you.